Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to study about synergistic effect. Suppose we are having two atoms. Let it be uh, one M and the other B X. If a sigma bond is forming between these two atoms, so this atom M will be contributing one electron and the atom X will be contributing another electron. So by the mutual sharing, the sigma bond will be produced. and pi bond is produced by the sideways overlap of the atoms so what basically these two bonds are doing is they are strengthening or they are reinforcing each other so when they are combining to form a molecule these two kind of sharing is like sticking them each other so if a sigma bond is produced what is happening is consider this as a metal substance so metals are basically electro positive so they, that means they have a tendency to attract the negative charge being a positive charge so this metal will be taking electrons from this one x let it be a ligand so when metal is taking this electron to complete its octet so here you have an increased electron density as this metal is taking electron from this ligand so this ligand what is happening is this ligand is uh, literally releasing its electron to the metal so it will be having a partial positive charge or because it lost its electron so it will be having a positive charge so both the electron both the increase in electron density over this metal and a decrease in electron density or increase in the positive charge on this uh, ligand that means the ligand is now having a higher pi accepting ability so that will be increasing so for instance pi accepting ligand means it can be a uh, c carbonyl group co or it can be cn minus or no c2 h4 etc all those now let us focus on the synergistic effect between metal and a carbonyl ligand so as far we discussed now we are having a metal and a carbonyl ligand so metal will be having a partial negative charge and carbonyl will be having a partial positive charge so as far as we discuss now this is the scenario now there will be a greater electron density on the metal and greater partial positive charge on the carbonyl ligand make the effective return of this electron density from the metal d orbital to the anti bonding or pi star orbital of the carbonyl ligand whenever this metal is going to return its electron as uh, pi bonding is formed so metal is whenever this metal is going to give away its electrons to the carbonyl ligand the metal will be removing its electron from the d orbital to the anti bonding or pi star orbital of the carbonyl ligand so now our metal is giving its electron from its d orbital to the from its uh, d orbital to the pi star orbital of the ligand so whenever it is returning its electron this carbonyl at the same time is giving the electron from co to metal so there will be a flow of electrons carbonyl will be giving its electron to the metal so metal will be returning the electrons from its d orbital to the pi star orbital so there will be a flow cyclic flow you can say so we can conclude that whenever there is a cyclic flow of electrons the bond between this metal and carbonyl that means basically this bond will be getting much much stronger than an individual sigma bond or an individual pi bond 
so now this metal carbonyl bond is having some extra stability because of the cyclic flow of electrons that means our carbonyl group will be giving electrons to the metal to form a sigma bond and the metal will be returning its electrons from the d orbital to the antibonding orbital that is pi star of co so because of this flow give and take so there will be an extra stability to this metal carbonyl bond this bond so this kind of mutual strengthening of a sigma and a pi bond is called synergism and this effect is called synergistic effect so due to this synergistic effect or synergism the bond between metal and carbon will be much much stronger so the bond length will be reduced or we can say the bond order tends to increase and since the pi back bonding result in the occupation of pi star orbital the bond order of co will be decreased that means this co bond becomes weaker or we can say uh, this c this will be much much elongated so here it is very easy to break or this bond will be much much weaker therefore the co bond is now having a very like between them there is a very weak force of attraction alternatively the increased this one m c double bonding leads to decrease the co multiple bonding that means earlier our bond was like this it will be having a partial positive charge and this will be having a partial negative charge now because of this this is the first case first case because of this synergistic effect the multiple bond of co will be getting reduced that means this bond will be getting weaker so you can represent that by a double bond character and this mc bond single bond this is getting much much stronger because of synergistic effect so you can represent that by a double bond that means the multiplicity of this bond will be getting reduced and multiplicity of metal carbon bond will be increased or in another terms we can say like when we are considering the oxidation state of metal so this is another case of uh, another way of expressing the same thing in terms of oxidation state that means if our metal metal is having a very high oxidation state and metal is having this is the first case and the second case is metal when metal is having low oxidation state if a metal is having a high oxidation state then it will be having a poor pi back bonding so what will happen is the bond order of m c it will be equivalent to 1 and as a result the bond order of c and oxygen carbon and oxygen will be close to 3 so what kind of bonding will be there is the normal one what we discussed initially so this will be the bonding when metal is in higher oxidation state now when our metal the second case is when the metal is in lower oxidation state metal in lower oxidation state when the metal is in lower oxidation state what will happen is there will be a strong pi bonding between the metal and carbon so what will happen is the mc bond as well as the carbonyl bond these both bond it will be having a multiplicity of 2 so this can be represented by this one so here is here it's a complete discussion uh, about the synergistic effect thank you